Are you ready? Are you ready? Good morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It is Monday again. What date is it today? August 26. Okay, Joe, come on, sit down here already. Okay, so today the gospel scene is from St. Matthew, chapter 23, verses 13 to 22. This is a very strong, very powerful gospel today. And um, it is a gospel where our Lord uh, curses the Pharisees and the scribes. There's no, there's no mincing words <laughs> about this. Our Lord was very strong in his way of reprimanding the scribes and the Pharisees. But let's get a, give a historical uh, uh, background to this one. See, the scribes, the Pharisees, they're, they, they are an order of uh, the hierarchy of the Jewish people. Okay? And there's also, on the other hand, the Sadducees. Right? You hear these, uh, these uh, categories or groups of uh, the leaders of the Jewish uh, community. And, uh, well, as, as we read here, the scribes, the Pharisees, they, they tend to impose all sorts of rules on people, which they themselves do not put into practice, do not follow. Okay? That's why our Lord was, uh, was uh, really reprimanding them for that kind of uh, behavior. They are the ones tasked with um, you know helping the community helping the ordinary folks to uh, follow their religion follow um, the um, um, the 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 laws that uh, God has given them basically stemming from the Ten Commandments but uh, what they have done was to interpret the commandments and the prophets in many more ways than God had actually willed and desired. So they came up with hundreds of other little rules and regulations that became a burden to most people, to everybody, rather than a guide to which, with which to follow the Jewish uh, tradition. So our Lord was so mad at that. And moreover... Uh, it wasn't just a matter of imposing rules on the Jewish people. Uh, the, the, the worst part of it, perhaps, would be that they are actually hypocrites, hypocritical. They, they would impose burdens and, and regulations and rules on other people which they themselves do not follow. Okay? They themselves don't follow them. And so our Lord had to reprimand them. In, in very uh, stern ways when he says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! <laughs> you lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. So instead of facilitating, facilitating uh, the way to heaven, these scribes and Pharisees, because of their bad example, because of their hypocrisy, are actually... Uh, preventing people from going to heaven because because since they're hypocrites that's what people uh, can actually see they they follow the bad example okay they 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 follow the bad example of these hypocrites instead of following the rules and that way because of their bad example that other people see well they're causing scandal they're they're actually not uh, helping people uh, go to heaven and he says it again, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! Again, <laughs> you traverse sea and land to make one convert. And when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. <coughs> what does that mean? Well, you know, they, they, they're good at preaching, they're good at bringing people uh, into the fold of Judaism at that time, right? But once they're already there, they don't take care of them. They actually give them bad example, they actually show them 
uh, all the wrong things that they themselves are doing. So, what happens to that convert? Well, nothing. Okay? Nothing. You blind guides. See, so our Lord is, is <laughs> one after the other, one paragraph after another. Our Lord issues a curse. Okay? And calls these uh, scribes and Pharisees all sorts of names. So, two lessons here that I think are uh, important for us. And number one is the matter of hypocrisy, right? That we will be hypocrites. Hypocrites are those who, uh, who are, who are uh, two-faced. They have one face to show what they're goody-goody, goody-goody, you know. Uh, but then in the inside, God bless you, they're not really sincere about what they show externally, okay? They're not really sincere. They do things out of show just to impress people. But deep down inside of them, they're really, like our Lord says of the same Pharisees, like, like graves, eh? like sepulchers that have rotting flesh and bone inside of them. Eh? With worms eating up their innards. Eh? That is how dirty and evil uh, hypocrites are. Eh? So... You don't want to be called a hypocrite because that is among the worst, the worst kinds of <laughs> reputations you can have. Okay? If people, people realize, oh, this guy is just doing things for show. There's really no sincerity in him to be good. Okay? So that is what a hypocrite is all about. So you don't want to be like that. That's very bad. Right? So you better be true to your word. You better be true and sincere and transparent. Okay? That if you are really doing good, you better be good in and out. Not only good for face value, but really rotten inside. Okay? So that is, that is very bad. The other thing that I want to point out here is how strong Jesus was. How firm Jesus was in his reprimand. He did not <laughs> deal with the scribes and Pharisees with kid gloves, right? Softy, softy, marshmallowy, <laughs> as I was already commenting the other day, right? Uh, you know, some people have a very, very wrong idea of what charity is all about. They think that they think that uh, to be charitable is is not consistent with being firm. With being stern sometimes, and with being <laughs> strong in 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 the way uh, you have to reprimand people, okay? Uh, uh, no, I mean you know that is a very very wrong impression of charity. Sometimes charity requires being very strong, being very firm, and like our Lord here uses very very strong language. Okay, of course you don't want to be. Uh, you, 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 you don't want to be uh, using uh, ad hominem attacks and calling people names or whatever that is. You, know, you don't want to do that. But if you have to uh, call a spade a spade, you have to call a spade a spade. Okay? Otherwise, some people will not learn. You know, this coconut sometimes is as hard as the hardest rock can get. You know, sometimes it's difficult for lessons to penetrate that hard shell that you got on top of your shoulders. Okay? And so sometimes some people need some knocking off. You know, and the only way to do that is to be hard on them sometimes and to, <laughs> uh, to, to, to really uh, 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 knock them out of their senses. And sometimes that requires some very harsh words, especially if they are incorrigible, especially if they persist in their stubbornness of doing bad things. And the reason why you want to be firm with them is because you love them precisely. It's precisely because you want them to, be, to, to, to straighten up their lives because you love them. If, if you do not love these people that you want to correct, you wouldn't care. Right? You would just say, oh, you want to be bad? Go to hell with you. <laughs> I don't care what happens to you. See? So that is the attitude of somebody who is uncharitable. 
That's the attitude of somebody who does not care. Okay? But the reason why people uh, can be very strong towards others is, is precisely because they care about them. Precisely because they love them. So let's put this into context. Let's talk about parents and children here. Okay? Sometimes parents can be very stern. Sometimes your parents can be strong and can use very firm and strong language to correct you. That's not because we are just being angry at you. That is not because we are just, you know, being impatient with you. Maybe we are once in a while. But more than that, more than that, it is because your parents care about you. It is because your parents love you, genuinely love you. That's why they correct you. Okay? Because if they didn't love you, if we didn't love you, we wouldn't care. You know what? There's so many children who live their lives like that. So many children live their lives like that where parents don't care about them. They don't care to the point where they leave them alone. To fend for themselves. They don't even correct the, the things, the, the bad behaviors they do. And you know what? They give excuses. They say, oh, because you know what? Kids like, kids today are like that. Oh, because you know what? That's what they learn in school nowadays. And well, what can I do? You know, you just leave them alone. Oh, because that's what they see with their friends. Now, poor kids. <laughs> Poor kids. How are we going to have a future and a society where things are going to be put back in order if parents themselves in their own homes don't care about their children? Okay? They deal with their children with kids' gloves. That's where the expression comes from. They're soft softy softy to their children and you know what when these same children grow up oh they cannot they cannot uh, 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 um, what do you call that they cannot uh, bear the the corrections of their bosses at work they cannot bear they couldn't seem to, to 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 know how to handle the difficulties of life when they encounter them uh, in their everyday uh, uh, um, you know comings and goings of their mature adult lives actually they're not mature because they don't know how to be mature they're all kids okay? because they were never given stern reprimands they were never dealt with in uh, in a in a strong manner so they never grow up they don't mature they end up being kids forever okay and that is because their own parents didn't care their own parents didn't really love them the way they should have been loved. So consider yourselves lucky <laughs> if you have parents who are stern and who are who are firm with you when you are not behaving properly. Because that is uh, evidence of love. That is the way your parents are showing how much they care about you. So you children do not resent it when your parents correct you. Do not resent it. Do not rebel when your parents are sometimes stern with you. Because that is the way your parents sometimes manifest how much they love you. In the same way that when our Lord was reprimanding these scribes and Pharisees, it was not because our Lord hated them. No, our Lord loved them. I mean, Jesus is, <laughs> is, the, uh, is love himself. Okay? So the reprimand that our Lord so strongly gives the Pharisees, you woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you blind guides, you brood of vipers, he also says in another, another uh, gospel. Right? It's not because he, was, he just wanted to call them names. No, it's because he wanted to knock them off their incorrigible, uh, 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 knuckle-headed uh, behaviors. And try to put some sense into them. That is what Jesus was trying to do. Okay? So it's so funny how, you know, some people out there, 
you know, I've been a little bit uh, <laughs> accused so many times that I have been too abrasive when I when I uh, correct people. Well, you know, you got to understand, uh, I, I am not abrasive by default. Okay. Um, it must have gone through a series of uh, softer um, uh, uh, um, reprimands or suggestions until it came to the point where I would realize, boy, you are stubborn and you need a knockout. <laughs> you need an, uh, 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 an uppercut. Okay? And that's the time you use strong language. Okay? <clears throat> but, of course, a lot of people take things out of context okay? and they just want to accuse you of all sorts of things. That's why. And they have no other way of defending themselves but calling you names well so be it but i mean that's not the intention that's not the point okay so our lord himself was strong in his language in many ways many more ways than one so um and it's a sign of charity okay so we just have to understand that that, that is actually an act of charity on the part of our lord okay that's it for us folks we gotta go off to mass today bye bye have a good day everybody have a good week ahead of you Bye. Bye.